random I haven't been knowing like really what to film I honestly haven't really been buying makeup as much as I used to so I just figured I would just throw some looks at you guys and you guys can kind of feed back to me and let me know what you guys think about the videos I'm putting up um, let me know also if there's any kind of like products or new makeup that's coming out that you guys would like to see or any different kind of videos if you guys want to see some fashion hauls I am going to Cancun and Cabo soon so I have been purchasing a bunch of clothes for that so let me know if you guys want to see a haul on I guess you can say like a summer vacation kind of tropical destination haul um, or I honestly I just thought about this today I've never showed you guys my new beauty room setup it's kind of similar besides my new desk back there so that's another idea I guess just let me know down below some videos that you guys would like to see today's look I wanted to incorporate an orange or a yellow look I know that I did a look like this recently using the Alamar cosmetics but I saw who did I see I think I saved his photo I saw somebody on Instagram do this like bumblebee kind of look um, I don't know if you guys can see on here obviously I won't be doing all this but I love how vibrant and chocolatey this whole look looks and chocolate lips I honestly that's what really inspired me I haven't done a chocolate lip I think since when I've been since when I used to record in my bedroom so I wanted to bust this baby out and use the Dose of Colors Chocolate Wasted Lip. That's basically the inspiration of this look. I'm going to take his, kind of make it my own, use a whole bunch of different palettes, and just have some fun with you guys today. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, I have a new little friend back there. It is a teddy bear made out of roses. I know it's not Valentine's Day anymore, but tomorrow is our five year of marriage um, anniversary. And he got me this teddy bear, so I decided just to put it on my desk and be a little festive this month. So let me know what you guys think about my little guy back there. But I just think he's really cute. He doesn't really match my room, but it's okay. You know what I mean? So anyways, I will stop rambling now. And I don't know if this is going to be a talking video or a voiceover. I guess we'll see how it goes. But um, thank you guys again for tuning in. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that little button down below before you go. I hope you stay tuned and watch me create this look um, and possibly go from this to this and let's get started. I feel like the lighting on this video today is like, what do you guys think? You guys think the lighting's on? Okay, so obviously I have nothing on la cara, so I am going to start, should we start with the brows? Okay, so I honestly have my P. Louise in my makeup traveling kit, like four and a half clients, so I'm just going to go in and use ColourPop. I am probably boring you guys to death with the products I've been using, it's just these are the products that I've really been liking, I can't even say lately, like for the past year. So I am still using it, not much has changed, but if you guys have any new recommendations, foundations, I'm really eager to try the Morphe one. Like I said in my last video, I just haven't got around to buying it, but I've only really been purchasing his eyeshadows and that's really it. So as far as like the makeup game, I've been kind of off of it lately. But like I said, guys, I started the new gym. That's been like my main focus lately, which BT dub. I've lost three pounds so far in four weeks, which isn't a lot, but it's something. Um, but I took a before and after, and you can see a good difference. So I'm assuming I'm just losing like more inches. My husband likes to tell me that your body's gonna lose like all over the place first. You're not gonna really be able to notice it until you lose, I don't even know how to explain it. Basically, he's just saying, like, I'm going to be losing it everywhere first before my body starts to tar target, like, one specific area, which kind of sucks because I feel like the more you see lose, the more motivated you are. You know what I mean? So I just want to see, like, a big difference, like, fast. I mean, who does it? I've been so strict for the last four weeks, so it's kind of like, give your girl a break, you know? I want to see a difference. I want to see some excitement in my life. 
So I'm gonna jump into the Desi and Katie um, Frontcation palette. Yes, this has a mirror. Um, and I'm gonna go into, I think I'm gonna keep everything neutral. I'm gonna go into this look right, this color right here, it's called Necessary. And I'm gonna be using a Sigma E25 or E40, I forgot. I think it's an E40. And just dusting this back and forth, this is like a super neutral brown. Sometimes, I'm not even gonna lie, I don't really like these neutral browns. But since we're going in with a really vibrant lid color, I feel like this will be okay. When I first tested out this palette and I started using these browns, I felt as if they were showing up a little too cool tone on me. Um, but that also could be that I'm just really used to just using warm colors. But this palette right here is definitely perfect for whoever likes neutral colors. Honestly, besides like the really vibrant ones, which I've never tested out that blue, but I just feel like it's like the perfect neutral, but I don't know why. For me, I feel like it just comes off super, super, super cool. Is it just me or am I just being really dramatic? All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and transition this video into a voiceover. I kind of just wanna listen to music and just do my makeup and have some fun. But if I come up with something to tell you guys, I'm just going to hop back on and maybe just switch back and forth so if you guys are confused that this video is all over the place, that is why I'm just kind of like in the music mood, so. Alright guys, welcome to the voiceover. Honestly, I've just been really in the mood to just like listen to Christian music, as crazy as that might sound. So that's what I was doing here, okay? Let's just move on. So I am still sticking with the same color necessary that we used in the beginning of this eye tutorial. And honestly, this color is extremely buildable. So I'm just going back and forth, just really building the intensity of our first transition color. We're going in with a lot of browns today. So honestly, I'm just laying down a base. So now I'm gonna go into the color Churo, Churo, however you pronounce it. Um, and I'm taking a smaller blending brush, a Morphe M441. And I am just doing this the exact same motion that I did with the color Necessary, just a little bit lower. Honestly, this eye look is a little bit tedious because I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth, just building up the intensity of these browns. Maybe I should have used a different palette, but I honestly love the way that this ended up looking with these neutral browns instead of like warm tone browns. Um, yeah, there's a difference. Apparently, there are different kinds of browns, <laughs> and I usually am not a fan of the neutral, but I really liked it in this video. So now I'm going to go into the color chins, chins, kins. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's a really weird name, but it's the darkest brown that they have in their palettes. And I am taking a smaller blending brush for this and doing the exact same thing that I did with the other colors, just adding this on top of half of our lid because this is going to be a cut crease. So I'm just going to the top of the lid about halfway in and then just building it into the crease, just really deepening everything up. If I was to show you guys in real time how long this took me, it took me forever just to really build up these colors had nothing to do with the palette or the colors it was just me and how I was working so I'm just going back in with the first two colors and just kind of making sure we don't have any rough lines then going in with a makeup wipe and just really cleaning out all those edges and just getting an overall feel and view of the whole eye look so now that I am done building up the browns I am taking the wipe wipe white no color pop no filter concealer i love this to cut the crease i love using a white because it really lays down a clean canvas and a clean base sometimes when you go in with like neutral or like light medium colors it kind of takes away from the true color that you're laying down on your lid i don't know if that makes any kind of sense so here i am taking the 42 color palette by beauty bay in the I think it's called identity and I am taking two yellow eyeshadows one's a lot more like limey kind of color and one's like a true gold I'm spraying a little bit of setting spray on this because I wanted the inner highlight to be a shimmer color and a very vibrant yellow now I'm going to go into a matte yellow base and this is a color um, from the James Charles palette this is just a yellow in his palette with morphe brushes I absolutely love his palette like I'm obsessed with his palette this 
yellow is so vibrant. Honestly, I could have used the yellow from the Alamar Cosmetics palette, but this yellow is a lot more yellow, whereas the Alamar one is a little bit more mango yellow, if that makes sense. But I love this. So first I started off using a flat shader brush, and then here I switched to like a fluffy brush. I felt like the fluffy brush really packed it on and brought the pigment out a lot more. So now I'm going back into that smaller buff buffing brush that we used earlier, and I'm taking the darker color of the Frencation palette, and I'm just placing this on top of the lid, kind of creating an ombre effect. So I'm gonna be switching back from the yellow brush back to the brown, just so it seems very seamless and blends straight into each other, just deepening the outer corner a little bit, and then going back in with the yellow just to blend it out and make sure that it's not like a stark line where it's like brown and then yellow, so it kind of just flows very seamless. Then I'm gonna go in with a clean, smaller blending brush and just hit up the edges around the cut crease just to make sure that everything is very sharp and very precise. Now for the eyebrows, I don't really need to do too much explaining. This is the Bomb Ass Brows by Benefit. This is a Desi collaboration. It's the same thing as a regular formula, just a rose gold packaging. Um, and I'm just lining the bo bottom part of my eyebrows. And then I'm gonna go in with their powder. I've been loving, loving this powder. And I'm gonna speed this because obviously it's very easy. I'm just going in and basically filling in the lines. I like to start from the bottom and just kind of buff it upwards and then boom, you got some brows. So now I'm going into the Anastasia Amorezzi um, highlights. I've been obsessed with this highlight, living for it. And I'm using this to highlight underneath my brow bones because it is a very true gold champagne. So it flows very well with this eye look. Now for La Cara, I'm gonna go into primer. This is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I love this primer, it's so expensive though, so you don't really need it, but I still love it. Now I'm gonna go into ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I think I am in the shade like 135 or 132, but don't quote me, I might be wrong. But I honestly love this foundation so much, I honestly haven't been using it too much, and I don't know why. So now I'm gonna go into LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. If you guys have been with me for a while, you guys know this is a holy grail of mine. I love to cream contour. Sometimes I hate it, but most of the time I actually really love it when I go in with a light hand, and this is great for when you're on vacation. So I place this on my forehead, my um, jawbone, my cheeks, and I'm going to go into later a nose contour. I like to go in with the stippling brush first and then go in with the beauty blender just to really push it into the skin. Then I'm going to go into a ColourPop. Oh my God, is this a ColourPop video? Because seriously, I'm using everything ColourPop and the setting powder that I use is ColourPop too. Don't hate me, but honestly, it's really affordable. It's pretty much cheaper than drugstore. So I'm going to go into the concealer and use this to highlight the center of my face and then conceal on the under eye. This concealer to me is like Tarte Shape Tape's baby sister, but better. It's not as full coverage, but it is still full coverage without looking like too cakey and making you look old like I feel like Tape Shape can do sometimes. So now I'm gonna go back into the cream from the Beautiful Bronze and take a really small buffing brush and just lightly feather it in. You wanna make sure you go all the way up to your eyebrows. This is key for nose contouring. It makes it look a lot more natural and a lot more softer. So now I'm gonna go into the iconic London Original Illuminating Drops. As you can see, I literally just used one drop, lightly dab my beauty blender in it, and begin to, began to place it wherever we want to highlight. So the top of my cheekbones, my chin, my nose, and the center of my forehead. Honestly, this baby right here is so intense and is so beautiful, and paired with this Amorezzi highlight, like look, do I really need to tell you guys? Look how intense that is. It is so pretty and then I like to apply this first because once I go in with blush and bronzer and everything else it really like looks a lot more seamless and natural which I love so here I didn't show you guys just because I feel like you can use any kind of powder that you want this is a ColourPop banana powder I am placing this in everywhere that I kind of want to set and then instead of brushing it off with the brush I've been doing this lately I just go in with that same beauty blender and I just push everything into the skin to set my entire face and I don't know if my skin's been looking looking pretty good or if it's all the techniques I've been using but it's been looking pretty good and I do the same thing for my under eyes 
oh my god it really is a ColourPop video like I didn't even mean to do that I swear but this is a ColourPop duo I don't even think they have this anymore it's like a peachy kind of blush but it's super light and I love it and then now I'm going to go into this Alexis Rem ColourPop bronzer honestly MAC Give Me Sun is super comparable to this color right here and I'm just going to lightly go in and bronze up my skin not too much because I did a lot of cream so I don't really need too much bronzer I seriously apologize for all the ColourPop in this video I didn't mean to but anyways so this is the Gerard setting spray and coconut uh, amazing so now basically what I did for my under eyes I took every single brown that's in that free friendcation palette and I just went ahead and buffed it underneath the very dark brown I used on this small definer brush by LMR cosmetics and I just kind of stamped it into my under eye I really built up this color and then I would just go in and blend it out with that small fluffy blending brush and then I would go back in build it up and then blend it out again I did want the top the bottom to be as smoky as the top was which is why I was checking it out to make sure everything looked good now going into pixie this is an eyeliner by them I think in bronze this is a beautiful you can find this at Target okay so before I finish off this tutorial I just wanted to apologize I thought I was recording my lips but apparently I wasn't um, I swear I thought I was but I guess I wasn't so I just want to let you guys know I did use a drug cosmetics mudslide lip liner and then dose of colors chocolate wasted I am so sorry but I still wanted to get this video up because I was obsessed with this look so I hope you guys enjoyed this little talk over and fun time with me all right guys so that completes today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this look right here thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for subscribing and sticking around with me i know i've been a little bit inconsistent i'm not blind i know what's going on within myself so anyways again i appreciate you guys so much if you guys don't follow me on instagram go check me out there that is where i am the most active almost every day you guys can check out some of my brides it is hardcore bride season it's been bride season since september and i have not slowed down at all um these next couple weekends are strictly brides so if you guys are interested in seeing some of my brides coming up make sure you check me out on instagram and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Turn me to a savage Rather be tied up with cars and my strings Write my own tricks like I write one